to push pressurize the Sri Lankan batsmen. We hope you enjoyed and thank you for joining us. Good night. Hello and welcome. Sri Lanka enjoying a slender 28 run lead with two wickets in hand. Hashan Tilakaratna having made a fighting half century in the last session and Murli Dharan giving him very good support. Arjuna Rantunga having made four half centuries in as many matches against England will look up to his bowlers to give them the breakthrough. Champaka Ramanayaka with two early wickets and probably Muntaya Muraladharan and Jananda Varnavira to take over thereafter. England on their part, having performed up to expectations, would like to repeat their performances. Mike Getting in particular would be eager to show off his talents. So it all points out to be a very interesting and very encouraging day for both teams to survive their position and then get into a position of strength on the final day. Enjoy the highlights. We pick up play with Jarvis into Hashan Tilakaratna. Neatly turned off past John Embury. Equally well fielded by Robin Smith at the fine leg boundary. So Jarvis making his intentions clear. Muraldharan lofting it. Devon Malcolm fumbling the catch. Should have been taken. And Jarvis wouldn't like that one. Once more, well played. So Malcolm once more into the act as Muralidharan gains confidence. Well bowled, Chris Lewis. He thought he had him on that occasion, but not the umpire. Embury to Muralidharan. Jarvis may get under it. No, he won't. He misjudged that. And that's the first boundary for Muralidharan in Test cricket. The 50 partnership coming up in 86 minutes of batting. Muralidharan surviving. His intentions made clear he wants to stay there. A well struck, over pitched delivery, and right back down the pitch by Hasan Tilakaratna. Batting with so much ease. Need to turn off once more. We'll look for two as Tafnal picks up, but has to get back with the fielder completing a fine pick up and throw in. 450 coming in 645 minutes of batting in the 148th over. Oh, Muralidharan survived that one. He is amused with himself. He's really surviving out there with a lot of luck. The partnership, a very worthy one indeed. Clean balled him. It needed only a straight delivery to get rid of Muralidharan, and that's after a long time that Chris Lewis bowled one right on the block hole as Murul Dharan made way not to injure himself and that's his top score. He faced up to 71 balls with at the wickets for 152 minutes. Last man in, Jananda Varnavira. Oh, well played by Tilakaratna. Embury got a hand to it but very well struck. That's his eighth boundary. So this time, repeating the stroke on the onside. Well played, Tilakaratna. Long chase there for the fielder who won't get to it. Two boundaries in Dover. He has so far hit nine boundaries. Jarvis gets it right on the block hole. And Varnavira is out. Sri Lanka all out for 469. And Tilakaratna having batted for 281 minutes, facing up to 217 balls. Not out on 93, equaling his highest score in Test cricket. So Lewis and Jarvis returning excellent figures as England start their innings after lunch. Ramanayaka straying down the line and Robin Smith off the mark with a boundary as he did in the first innings. Ramanayaka still in his first over. Dropped it short. Well struck once more through mid wicket this time. 
England off to a confident start. I played it wide. That's another fine stroke by Robin Smith. His third boundary. And Ramanayaka really not impressing. Hatterton did not make much of a impression. A oh, well taken by Hashan Tilakaratna. Wide at Gali. Guru Singer is elated. England now 16 for one. Atherton the batsman out. Really not in position. He should have let it go. But a crucial time to lose a wicket. Mike Getting comes in. Much expected, but he couldn't last long. Well played. Four runs through mid wicket. Guru Singer dropping it short. His first boundary. Jayananda Varnavira to Robin Smith. Murlidhar and the fielder. A very athletic Hashan Tilakaratna. He went a long way in making that collection. He was a bit late in his recovery, but see the lunge and his pickup. Getting played that one well, waited for the ball to turn into him as it was dropped short by Muralidharan. His second boundary. A well struck. Past Ramanayaka, his third boundary wings up. His double figures score. The second time he's done so in this match. Excellent placement. Really, Ramanayaka made a desperate attempt, but the outfield extremely quick. So getting wouldn't let uh, Muralidharan dictate terms to him. A very experienced cricketer. That's his fourth boundary. Roshan Mahanam, the fielder. Here's Varnavira, and Tilakaratna takes the catch. Getting the parts, didn't like the decision, but he's on his way. Varnavira putting a lot of effort. Ball pitched short and getting shaping to play. Came off uh, Ashwati Silva's glove, but Tilakaratna another splendid effort. That's the fourth catch for him in the match, and the second of the innings, both in a row. A pretty dubious decision that went in favour of the bowler. But the fielders really reacted immediately. Graham Hick, the new batsman. England, 2 for 38. Came a long way, but outside the line of off stump. Neatly turned off by Robin Smith. That's well played. No ball called and really Varnavira had a lot of problems. The 50 of the innings coming in 59 minutes in the 12th over. Hick making room that time through the covers. Four runs. His first boundary, Jasuri the bowler. And that's a mighty swipe through mid wicket as he did in the first innings. Likes to clear the boundary. He certainly has the power to do so. Jasuri to Robin Smith. A ball around the legs. That came a long way. Surprised to Robin Smith on that occasion. Just reward for Sanat Jayasurya. Probably bowling to those rough patches. 
outside the right hander's leg stump. Smith not getting the pad onto the line of that delivery, exposing his stumps, ball round his legs. Batted for 96 minutes, faced up to 69 balls and hit four boundaries. It's three for 83 as Alex Stewart comes in. He's stroking the ball through cover once more. There's no fielder there. And he picks up his second boundary. Neatly turned off. Well struck once more. But Murli Dharan is quick on the ball. England just uh, wiping off the areas. Hick uh, plays it officially. Ramanayak at the fielder. Holds on to a good catch. Well judged indeed at backward square leg. And Hick is out with the total at 91. A pretty irresponsible stroke. He was looking to hit it uh, through mid wicket officially. Probably over the ropes. But an excellent catch. It was very difficult in the air for a long time. And finally, make a catch. Neil Fairbrother, the new batsman. Jasuria to Stuart. Kursinger gives chase. Stuart is off the mark. Oh, he didn't know much about that one. Roshan Manama completes the catch as the ball comes a long way into Alex Stewart. He certainly got uh, the pad first and probably off the bat then. And Mahanama, good anticipation at slip. It's 5 for 96, England in trouble. He was at the wicket for just 19 minutes and a disappointed England captain walks away as Chris Lewis comes in. Yep. Brother turning the first delivery after tea. The 100 coming up in 121 minutes of batting in the 24th over. Moving down the leg side but didn't know much about that one, Fair Brother. A struck through cover. Good stroke by Chris Lewis. His first boundary. So he has the capacity to take this bowling apart, but it was not to be. Struck once more. This time on the onside. His second boundary of Varnavira. Lewis square cuts to Murlitharan. Oh, this is a danger for the Englishman. Fair brother is out of his grounds. And he protests about the circumstances under which Jan and the Varnavira broke the stumps, but there was no mistake. Excellent decision by Katie Francis, the umpire. He first came in front of the wicket in his excitement to collect the ball after a good pick up and return from Muralidharan but recovered quickly had the presence of mind to break the wicket and uproot a stump at the wicket and Fair Brother is out 6 for 130 34 runs added for the 6th wicket in 29 minutes disappointing exit as John Embury the new batsman Overpitched and neatly stroked through long off by Chris Lewis to earn another good boundary. For oh, helping that ball on its way through to fine leg. It's a long chase for Hashan Tilakaratna and Roshan Manama. Both won't get to it. Four more. Embury very experienced. Gursing at the fielder. So Lewis batting well for his 40. Hey. 
came down the track and well played. A good stroke, that's his sixth boundary, the 150 up in 178 minutes of batting. Jayasuriya picks up, no mistake, Lewis is on his way, seven for 153, stretching well forward but couldn't keep that ball away from the closing fielder and Jayasuriya is quite a safe catcher. 23 runs added for the seventh wicket. Paul Jarvis, the new batsman. Luis was at the wickets for 63 minutes. <laughs> Embry was to use his pad to very good effect throughout his innings. Well struck. Excellent placement and his judgment in picking the ball to hit was very evident throughout his innings. Well placed once more. A neat stroke. It needed more than Hathur Singh's speed to get to that one. Top edging it and Arjun Ramtunga just out of the reach of that ball. Had it made it, would have been a good effort. Jarvis takes strike from Jayasurya. He's on his way. A long way down the track. Jayasurya is happy. And Ashton De Silva picks up his first victim in Test cricket. He went a long way and didn't even turn. He didn't have to. 8 for 173. Nevertheless, they added 20 runs, which was a record for England for that wicket against Sri Lanka. A well played by Embury. Arvind De Silva ran in well as they complete three. The umpire not impressed on that occasion. Here's Tufnell facing up to Varnavira. An appeal for a catch behind, upheld. The umpire thought about it. And that's the ninth wicket down at 188. He turned a long way. And the last man in is Devon Malcolm. He has to survive more than 10 overs to see the close of play. No ball. Played up is the Hatrishinga, the fielder, but Lawrence is off the mark. And Embury taking strike from Jai Surya. No ball called, played up the, Once more, Hatrishinga takes the catch, but to no effect. A oh, well played by Embury. Pitched up to him, there's no fielder there in the deep. So, a safe stroke. The 200 up in 240 minutes of batting in the 52nd over for England in their second innings. Once more, neatly played. Long chase for Mahanama, won't get to it. Embry scores his fourth boundary. And that's a well-deserved half-century for John Embury, putting to shame some of the more established England batsmen. And once more, picks it up cleanly, wide of Aravinda de Silva. So he's shown that there are very few terrors on this wicket, if you know how to handle the spin. That's where ball came. Somewhat deceived, but he survives. And that's all it was to be, as stumps were drawn. 127 runs coming in the last session of 150 minutes of batting for the loss of four wickets in 37 overs. Five batsmen failing to 
score of double figures in the England innings and 287 runs scored for the day with a loss of 11 wickets. The 25 extras of concern for Sri Lanka, the chief offender being Jananda Varnavira with over 15 no balls. In the bowling, Varnavira once more excelling with four wickets. Excellent support from Jai Surya who took two and Muralidharan and Gursinga one each. 45 runs added for the third wicket and this pair has so far put on 38. It was another marvellous day at the It was another marvellous day's cricket at the SSC and best remembered for the rearguard actions on the part of both teams. If England harboured any thoughts of getting a quick breakthrough in the morning, well, Hashan Tilakaratna and Mutaya Muralidharan, both getting their top scores in test cricket, defied them, in fact, putting up a test-best partnership for the ninth wicket for the Sri Lankans. Having been bowled out for 469 at lunch, it was England's turn to struggle on this wicket for the second time, I thought. They lost five wickets coming up to T, and except for Robin Smith, who played a responsible knock in that session, the rest of the batsmen threw away their wickets. England were really up against it since T, after losing four more to be 226 for nine at the close, and John Embury standing in between a total rout and a rearguard action by the Englishman. The last wicket pair having so far added a personal best for England in the game for Sri Lanka. This has been quite a marvellous performance by the Englishmen who have once thought that Muralidharan was unplayable. But more commendable has been Varnavira's performance. He's taken four wickets in a match for the second time and his eight wickets is the best in tests for him. So all points out to be an interesting and an encouraging day for Sri Lanka on the final day. But before harbouring any thoughts of victory, they should get the breakthrough which they are capable of. And thereafter, it's to the top order batsman to see them through for safety. Thank you for joining us. Good night. Hello and welcome.